All right, so let's go over a quick tip on how to speed up simulations in Blender um, that involve collisions. So you can see we have a character here, composed of shorts, which are cloth, and that will be colliding with the body. Likewise, we have hair, which are particles, which will be colliding largely with the face. And so we have the face and the body all as one mesh. So the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate the mesh with Shift D. We're gonna go ahead and rename that collision. And then we're going to go back to the previous body, which already had a collision modifier on it, but we're just going to remove that. And we're going to make this collision, this body, the one that has a collision. It already copied it from the previous mesh, so we'll just stick with that. But what we're actually going to do is disable the visibility and not allow it to render. Now the trick here is actually going to be in the modifiers. We're going to decimate the mesh. And we're going to decimate it prior to armature deformation and collision. So what decimation will do, it'll actually reduce the amount of geometry in the mesh, and it's not gonna do a very good job with the topology, but for this case, it actually works pretty well. So we're gonna change the ratio to something like 0 0.05. And so you, see this, you can see the face count go from like 124K to about 12K, right? And the key part here is to apply. Do not let the decimate stay as a modifier otherwise that will likely be evaluated per frame of the animation and so really that's all we got to do so what's going to happen is the cloth and the hair will actually be colliding with our invisible collision object which is now composed of far less geometry than the original body while at the same time the body that we're going to render is still the original body which has a much higher geometric density so all we have to do from here is go to our shorts I always mess that up. I don't know what panel is what. And then um, just come down here and delete all bakes. And we'll bake all the dynamics and we'll let that run and then we'll do analysis afterwards. As you saw earlier in the video, we went from 124K faces down to 12K faces as we applied a ratio of 0 0.05, which is equivalent to 5% in the decimation modifier. Here we're seeing the benefits of Blender not having to test collisions between the cloth and particles against the denser original mesh. Admittedly, 124K faces is overkill, but you can still reap benefits by doing this, especially if your animation is longer and you need to continually rebake. For example, I have to bake my fluid sims at least 5 million times before I get something reasonable. In any case, we see a really nice 60% improvement in bake time by using the decimated mesh for collisions over the rendered mesh. Okay, so the bake time is great, but does the render actually look good? Here we're watching the animation using the original mesh as the collision body. Now let's switch over to the decimate mesh and it turns out to look pretty good. The success of this technique will vary with your scene and what simulations you're running. In any case, this was a very quick way to reduce the geometry to demonstrate that number one, something this quick may actually work for your scene. Number two, if it doesn't work for your scene, you can reduce geometry in other more involved ways such as retopology or manually deleting edge loops yourself. Remember that you don't need to worry about your UVs on the decimate mesh because they'll never render. Anyways, that's all I have to present for this video. I hope it can help you speed up your simulations. Thanks for watching.